Hello, I'm Wayne Visser and I'm Director of CSR International and I'm here today uh, in Athens uh, with uh, Peter Michel uh, Heilmann and uh, he's President of Euro Charity. Welcome. Uh, I want to start, uh, you've been living here now 20 years working on the sustainability field. Uh, for you to start by reflecting on the crisis in, in Greece and its implications for CSR. Yeah. Uh, well, as uh, with everything in Greece, uh, uh, the crisis started very late. Uh, it, uh, it really hit us, I would say, the uh, last six months in this country. And uh, it, we're not only talking about the economic crisis, we're also talking about a, a, a social crisis, a political crisis, environmental crisis, a climate crisis. And we're also talking about transparency and, uh, and many, many crises all at the same time. And uh, it's very funny that uh, people, uh, the, the man in the street understands that Greece is going through a, a big crisis. Uh, the, the, the foreign debts and all these uh, sort of governmental issues. But they can really feel the difference in the psychology. People have been, it's like a terrorism almost, that people have been bombarded with these negative messages that they have started to, uh, businesses and consumers uh, started not to spend things anymore or not to spend uh, only on the necessary things. So suddenly this whole psychology of people are, are, are thinking what's, what's going to happen uh, tomorrow? I mean, you know, uh, what's going to happen with, with my livelihood and with my pensions? And with my future and the future of my children, so it's really becoming, um, uh, and at the moment it's not just an, a crisis in Greece; it's a it's a global crisis. But Greece is being used in a way as a scapegoat uh, by many by by the whole world is talking about Greece at the moment. Mm. Uh, so we have a domestic situation and we have an international situation at and the moment. And are there some, some good things happening? I mean, there's obviously... There are, there are so many good things happening in this country that people are not really talking about, not emphasizing. They're only emphasizing on a negative aspect. You know, that the government owes so many billions or that, the, that all these Greeks have been uh, stealing all this money. It's not really... The, 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 the issue at the moment is that, for example, we're uh, today in a... It's a very sunny day, okay? We can... Um, use, utilize renewable energy sources, uh, but this hasn't been used as much as as uh, this country. This country has a huge potential on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, not only solar and wind, but also biomass mm -hmm. and geothermal, mm -hmm. and uh, it has uh, many islands. Wave technology. Mm -hmm. You know, we can put wind parks on uh, on uh, little abandoned islands that no one's using. Mm. The, uh, Greece has tremendous potential in that. Uh, also, Greece has many scientists, very intelligent people, and, and have, that, that cannot find any work here. So they go abroad and they go and, they, uh, uh, go and work for the best companies on the planet. You know, uh, the, the CEO of Dow Chemical is, is Greek. Mm. Or, uh, you know, the, the, the owner of, uh, of many Silicon Valley companies are, are Greeks. Mm. Uh, you know, so it's not about uh, not having the knowledge. It's that this knowledge is not uh, being used properly. Mm. And this can be used in a positive way. Mm. And for the green economy, and for um, uh, innovation, mm. and for uh, competitiveness. But right now, all of this is not really being promoted. Mm. You know, there are many companies that are doing really well uh, in the world uh, who are Greek, uh, but uh, and are really good initiatives and really good scientists mm. and really good projects mm. uh, and great investment opportunities in the mm. green economy mm. that people do not know about. Um, and have you seen uh, the CSR? sustainability agenda change in Greece over the last uh, years? Very much so. Uh, I uh, arrived here uh, 18 years ago. Uh, I've written a book uh, called Green Pages. It's the first environmental directory uh, for businesses and, and uh, compassionate consumers. And back then, I'll tell you, 
very few people knew about recycling. Uh, only for the last four or five years, people really know what means recycling. And even today, this is something fairly new and not everyone is doing it. You know, you would say this is, everybody should be doing this. You know, it's like totally normal. But there, even there are still today, um, there's no infrastructure. Uh, not all municipalities and towns and cities are connected to the recycling system. So there is a, 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 a new conscious. There's a, people are getting more and more conscious. The media are talking about it. The, uh, the people are more, getting more connected through the internet, uh, through mobile phones, uh, through social networks. So uh, through the schools, they're being taught from, from the... Uh, my daughter, who is six, is, is learning about uh, such issues at a very early age. Mm -hmm. This is a, a, a whole new uh, way of uh, educating mm -hmm. um, and, and inform informing people. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've come a very long way, but still we have a lot to do. We have so many things to, to be done. And this is just Greece. Can you imagine Eastern Europe? Can you imagine other Mediterranean countries? Or can you imagine other European countries? Uh, I think that uh, we have still a lot of things to be done. There's still a lot of things to be done that we can do as individuals or as business people mm -hmm. or as social entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish you good luck with that. Thank you for sharing your thoughts right. today. Okay. Thank